So I've done a few custom configuration bits uh, to the computers on my home nine front grid um, through the config system here. Um, I've shown how to get the system to run commands at certain points in the default CPURC script. And one of the other points, the CPURC, uh, the CPURC script checks for um, system or site specific configuration is when setting up the listeners. So listeners are programs that listen for traffic on specific network ports. Um, the defaults are found in RC bin service. Uh, the listen program, um, uh, which the CPU servers run, will um, look in this directory for scripts with names of a specific format. So you can see they have like, this one here is TCP 17019. Um, that means it's gonna tell listen to set a listener listening to TCP tra traffic on port 1709. Um, and these files with an exclamation point in front of them are ones that the listen command uh, will not execute. So it's sort of like, uh, it's a version of being commented out. So the listen command um, will run on a, uh, so it's man eight listen will run on directories. So that's what it kind of is looking for. When you look in here, it's going to have um, entries to put in directories to look for. Um, there's also another command called listen one, and that's for one off or ad hoc stuff. And I'll cover it in a different video. Um, but this video will cover um, configuring a CPU server to run a uh, uh, custom listeners at startup. So one thing to keep in mind right off is that um, unlike a lot of the other options in the CPURC script, um, the choice to run your own services isn't like a, um, an and operation. It's more like an or. So with the other ones here where I, you can run CPURC or CPU start, it will check, it will run those, and then go back into the script and continue running things. In this case here, since it's feeding, uh, basically piping this into a an environmental variable, um, it will just, it will not run the default scripts and your scripts. It will just run your scripts. The reason this is important is in the default ones, uh, these two will always be open. Um, these will provide access to the default file system and allow you to run remote commands on a CPU server. If you do not include these, you can't actually access your CPU server and tell it to run commands. So in my case here, I made my own um, services directory because CPURC will check for config sysname services. So in the lab pie here, I added that. There's a service directory. I just copied in these from the default um, RC bin services. So I keep those services running and then added some additional ones. So one of the ones I added here, this is this one down here. So this will set up a listener listening for TCP traffic on port 9040. And when a call comes in, it will answer it and it will run these commands. Um, this first one here is TLS serve with this A option. This is going to um, run a sort of TLS or encrypted version of the serve command, which will provide a like a 9P or 9 protocol connection to a file system. So in this case, this is the command that actually sets up the file system call. So first we set up an encrypted tunnel. We then run a standard program for exporting a 9P session. And what it's going to export, in this case, I'm using this S flag which means it will do something from a, um, a file descriptor already posted in Serb. So the um, CPRC, I believe that runs it in, no, I run it here. So it's going to run this SCD40FS program, which automatically posts, um, it exposes the SCD40 uh, sensor as a collection of files. And it also posts a file descriptor in serve so you can access it later like this. So what this is going to do is basically if you dial in from an outside computer to 9040, it should basically let you access the SCD40 sensors as a collection of files. 
So something to keep in mind is that uh, these listen scripts can run pretty much any program you want. Um, in Plan 9 style, the assumption is that it's going to be text or something going in and out. Um, and it's basically in and out of file descriptors 0 and 1, uh, the standard input and output. So I've done demonstrations in the past where um, I've had the listener just, just echo back some text, or it'll take inbound text and feed it into a text-to-speech text program. So, yeah, you just have to have... these. This program here has, like, no... Um, no notion that it's being hooked to a network. Um, that's being handled by Listen itself. So you don't necessarily have to do it that way with a program. Um, some examples I do have are here on the central system here. Um, it runs these two. So this is a DHCP server and a TFTP daemon. Um, these obviously are listening for stuff on the network, but they're not being handled by Listen. If you go into the code of these files, they'll have code inside them to actually set up a connection um, to the network files and establish all of that. Um, so yeah, you can write programs that just go directly and set up on the network. Um, the nice thing about the listen option is just that, again, you can write a program that has no knowledge of the network. All you have to do is deal with what's coming in on standard in and going out on standard out. So if I want to demonstrate that, oops, I could open up a window. And so the lab pie is running and it has things. I'm on the CPU server beefcake right now. So I can use uh, serve TLS. So you can use serve on unencrypted 9P connections and for TLS ones, it has to be serve TLS, which is basically just a script that wraps around that and provides the, the TLS service. So I'll be connecting on the network to lab pi on port 9040. So I have to give a, a name for what serve posting I want. So I'll just call it um, just SCD40. And we'll have it just post to N. So now I should have a serve posting with SCD40. And that's right there. And if I look in N, I do indeed have... Um, scd40 directory there and in it there are files if i read them it should report back um, information from the sensor so yep it returns my co2 temperature and humidity so i hope that was uh, some useful information i'll have uh, links to the man pages and stuff in the description like usual and in the meantime uh, have fun <laughs>